taskless test type package for Procal V5 is designed to supply and record a list of tasks for maintenance or calibration related maintenance steps to be recorded on a calibration record. To add the task list test type package to your database, you would need to copy the required file into the folder labeled bin under the Procal V5 directory. The task list BPL file contains all the information necessary for the test type's automatic and proper setup in Procal V5. Once the file has been copied into the correct folder, you may launch the Setup Test Type Packages screen. To do this, select File, System Options. Once the System Options screen has been opened, select File, Setup Test Type Packages. Next, select the Add New Record button. This will open the Choose New Package File screen. Select the Task List BPL file and click the Open button. Once the task list BPL has been selected, you will be returned to the new test type record which will already be set up for you. In this instance, you can save the record, making it available for application to master records in the software. Once a test type has been saved to the database, it will be available for selection in the test type drop-down field on the calibration points tab in all screens where that tab exists. When creating a new master record that uses the task list test type, the test type must be applied to the record through the calibration points tab on the record screen. Once a new calibration group has been added to the record, click the test type drop down list and select task list from the available test types. Once the test type has been selected, the inputs will change according to the settings defined by the test type package. Enter a value into the number of rows field. This will set the number of steps you want to use. For this demonstration, I will select five. You can now see that five rows are now present at the bottom of the screen. Each row is considered a task. During calibration, the user can check off whether a task has been completed successfully or not, along with recording a brief comment for each one. The test type inputs used in this test should be entered through the group options screen which can be accessed by selecting the Show Group Options button on the right side of the screen. On the Show Group Options screen, the user will have the option of entering values into the additional test type input section. Your two options are Fail if step fails, with the selectable options of Yes or No. Leaving the field blank will result in No automatically being applied. If Yes is selected, then the test will fail if the step fails. Otherwise, the test will always pass. The second option is Fail if step skipped with the options of yes or no. Once again, leaving the field blank will result in no automatically being applied. If yes is selected, the test will fail if the step is skipped. Otherwise, the test will always pass. Select the Hide Group Options button to return to the previous screen. Use the Description column to list each step. Next, you will configure the Fail if Step Skipped and fail if step fails options. If a step should span multiple rows in the grid, the steps will be combined with the next grid row if it ends in the greater than character. For example, the second through fifth rows in the example will be combined to read the following. The number of rows can be increased to increase the capacity of each step if necessary. There is no limit to the number of characters that can be entered using the greater than symbol, but due to restrictions in Procal V5, only 255 characters will show on the calibration screen when the user presses the View Enter button. Once all of the relevant data has been entered, you can save the record. Next, navigate to the calibration record screen and begin a new calibration for the record we've just created. Once a calibration has been created for the mastered item record that uses the task list test type, the calibration data can be entered into the Test Results tab. To open the Test Results tab, select the View Enter Data button. A new screen will open to display a grid showing each step as a row with a step number on the left. Each step will contain a drop-down field with the available step result contained within and a text column where additional comments can be entered. Select Values from the Result column. Select Pass and save the record. And that's all there is to it. Now you can successfully navigate the task list test type package in Procal V5.